Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This time I'm gonna be doing another puzzle brand review, but I'm gonna be doing a brand that I've actually already done last year. In preparation for the world, I did all 500 twist puzzles and puzzle twist was one of them, but I wasn't really like going into too much detail and you know, I basically just put the puzzle together. So I thought that I wouldn't just keep the brand, so I decided to do the you know, the sort of like a brand of year as well, because I wanted to do this puzzle for camera anyway, because it's special in its own way. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to putting it together, but I'm sure it's going to make me hungry. Let me show you the puzzle now. It's a thousand piece puzzle by Puzzle Twist, and the title of this one is Sweet Surprise. I don't know how much you know Puzzle Twist, but they always like do a twist on a puzzle. That's probably also the reason why they're called Puzzle Twist. So this one is Reveal the Color which means that I don't actually know what the end picture is gonna be because everything is great, like black and white now. And obviously, as you can see at the bottom here, it's gonna reveal the color once I, well, the pieces are all gonna be in color, but I'm not gonna know what the actual picture is until it's done. So the one that I've already done is something's amiss. So what happens with this puzzle is the pictures are not in the same place where they're supposed to be. Sometimes the background color is different, sometimes like, the picture of the squirrel was completely different. So yeah, it was definitely difficult to speed run because you couldn't really rely on the picture, but I've really enjoyed the puzzle. So the next one is WhatsApp, and I don't actually have one of these puzzles because I can't get Puzzle Twist in Slovenia. This puzzle was actually sent to me by Kay. So thank you so much. I've, I've been really enjoying those puzzles. So basically for this one, it says a big surprise in store for you. Enjoy the challenge of discovering WhatsApp piece by piece. So for some reason, I don't know how that happened, but yesterday I saw on Instagram someone who posted WhatsApp puzzle. So what was the thing? I think it was like a buffalo and on the picture it was basically like a normal summer day. And then on the actual puzzle, it was like everything was covered in snow. So I think like for this one, the entire picture is different. You just don't know in which direction. Sorry if I spoiled. For anyone who has that puzzle at home, that was not the intention. So yeah, the other one that they also have is mixed up. So assemble this puzzle and you will find the shifting college of stunning images once finally aligned. So what I'm understanding from that, because I haven't seen any of those puzzles, is that all of the images are the same, they're just in a different order, which I think would make it a lot, a lot easier than actually like the something's a miss one. Because with the something's a miss one, you had like, there was like a color background and you were like, oh, I know what I'm putting together. And then it's like a completely different picture that you're putting together because that same color was for a different background. So yeah, it was a little bit confusing. So for this puzzle, I'm actually really excited to do it. So, oh God, it's definitely gonna make me hungry though. I do have some sweets in my drawer, but I'm just like, it's a bit early. It's like half nine now. So yeah, I'm gonna try to restrain myself from eating, but I'm sure that this is gonna make me wanna go to the shop today and buy some stuff. I actually found another, oh God, I think it was like Schmidt Haribo puzzle. So it's in my Amazon basket now because I restrained myself from buying it. That's probably why I picked this puzzle to do next as well, because I was just like, I just wanna do a candy puzzle now. I don't know why, it's just, yeah, the other one is really nice. I'm gonna put the picture up. But it's like a gradient from like Haribo sweets. <laughs> Love it. Anyway, I'm really looking forward to see how this one is gonna come together. But first, let's check the quality. The pieces are quite thin, but they're still very hard. The cut is really nice. The print is very clear, but I can see a little bit of glare when I turn it towards the light. Okay, so from what I can see so far, there is a lot of green in this box, which is a tiny bit worrying because, well, I was expecting this to be an easy puzzle, but I don't know what to expect anymore. What I really, really, really like about this puzzle, sorry, I'm just saying really a lot, but is the fact that the picture is actually black and white and it makes it doable for people who are like colorblind because obviously there is so much texture in the picture because there's different types of candy. Some of them has like grainy bits, some of them are completely like shiny. And you know, I think even from the picture, like if the puzzle was black and white, I would be able to put it together. And I think this is really important because there is so many comments that I get when people cannot do like radiant puzzles because they're colorblind and it's just, 
you know, they cannot actually physically do it. So I think we should have more puzzles like that. But yeah, oh, let's see if the texture is gonna help with all of the green though. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm really hoping that it's gonna be easy to separate and that there's gonna be quite a lot more color than just green or if at least the green is completely like sporadically placed across the puzzle that would also help we just do not want to have like one big section of green because that is going to make it very difficult for me and also like usually i'm going to use a thousand piece puzzle for you know training my endurance which means that three hours non-stop puzzling and then finish leisurely i've realized that this way is really good for me especially when i'm recording you know for youtube because it might sound a little bit silly but like i would normally puzzle for like 45 minutes and take like a 10 15 minute break so by the time i would finish you know the three hours of puzzling i would already be like spending four hours of my day or something like that which is completely fine but those 15 minutes break don't really do much for me because i can't really relax i can't really do much in that time so i prefer to just do three hours in one go you know work on the insurance like i said and then have one hour off where I can actually eat lunch, you know, watch some TV or something like that just to actually relax. So it's not just like, okay, I just need to relax my muscles so I can go back to puzzling. It's actually like, okay, I've got time off now. So I'm really enjoying that. So I'm going to keep doing this because I think it's fine. And it's also going to help when I go to the worlds because, you know, we are going to have a three hour limit on puzzling. So you want to be ready for that it's like running a marathon so i'm getting ready i'm getting my miles in now no just kidding anyway enough talking let's get on with puzzling So it's been three hours and I'm a little bit further behind than I expected to be at this point but I counted the pieces it's about 330 left which is not too bad but it's basically all green and well a little bit of purple left so this is probably gonna take a little bit longer to finish but I have to say that in the beginning it went really really fast and then just something happened it's like I try to keep referring to the picture and you've got some textures, you know, but then it's, you've got the same texture in different colors and you don't know which one's which. So it became quite a bit confusing in this section. I didn't really know where the orange and red go, but I managed to figure it out finally. I've been having quite a lot of problems with the sun though, because it keeps going behind the cloud and then coming out and behind the cloud. And I have to set up the camera, you know, so it's not overexposed. And then it became really dark and it's just, you just don't see anything anymore so it was really oh god a little bit annoying i'm not gonna lie and it's gonna be annoying to edit as well but i think it's above me now so that shouldn't be an issue anymore it just made it a little bit more difficult to puzzle because when you have it like so exposed and you see everything and then it just goes behind the cloud it's just like someone turned all the lights off and you just the eyes need to keep adapting anyway let's talk about the puzzle now so 
It reminds me of the Springbok puzzle I did, not in terms of quality, in terms of the cut. Because there's quite a lot of pieces that are like completely randomly shaped, which I'm not that used to. But compared to the squirrel one that I did, which was 500 pieces, it had massive, well, massive. It had bigger pieces, so I'm really happy that this is just like normal sized because otherwise I wouldn't have space to put it anywhere. But I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm not having any misfits. Puzzle Dust is here, because I, I couldn't say that for the squirrel's life because that one was already used. So she basically sent me the puzzle that she's already done. But this one was brand new. So I can actually see how much puzzle dust I've got and it's not too bad. There is some, but it's okay. Like I've got this foldable table and it's really fun. Well, fun. But like with the puzzle dust, because when I move the pieces around, they just get trapped in the middle. So after I finish puzzling, I just flip it over and just, you know, clean it out. Which means that I don't have it on the table when I puzzle. But there's definitely less puzzle dust than with Ravensburger, because I don't have anything on my hands. Okay, I was just taking some footage for, you know, to put in the video. And I just realized that this is actually a bird. Okay, I didn't know that. Okay, I can see it now. I don't know how clear it's gonna be. But this is like the body, this is the eye, and that's like the beak. That's really strange. I didn't expect that there's gonna be an actual image. I just thought it's gonna be like the candies mixed together and then voila, you've got the colorful candies instead of just, you know, the black and white version. But it seems like it's actually gonna be a picture. So that's nice. I don't know what the rest is gonna be, but I'm really looking forward to seeing that. So I'm gonna take a break now. I need to go to the shop, take the dog out and um, yeah. I'm hoping to finish this in the next like one hour, one and a half hour. So hopefully that's gonna be the case. Like I can still see some textures in the green. So if I just figure out where something goes, I think it should make it easier. The easiest one are the ones that are like, you know, these ones, and it just makes me salivate so much is the sour ones. They're so easy to see the texture and to eliminate them because there are some other ones that are like shiny, I don't know how to say, but like some sweets and they're different shapes, but they all have like the same textures. So it's really difficult to know which one's actually which, but with the sour ones, mm, you just, I guess, <laughs> yeah, I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, I haven't eaten yet, so I'm gonna do that too now. So yeah, I'm gonna see you on the other side. It took me one hour longer to finish the puzzle, which is somehow what I expected. I thought it was going to be a tiny bit longer, but I'm quite happy that it went that quickly. I think it's because the green sections were quite nicely spread across the entire puzzle and I didn't have like a big section because the piece shape really helps with this puzzle and they have so many different ones. So this time I've already taken pictures, you know, before actually recording this so I can do the pickup challenge, you know, so I don't have to be scared in case the puzzle falls apart. So let's do that now. Okay, so this worked. It's a little bit more difficult to do a pickup challenge with the portrait puzzle, I just realized, because you just have to lift it higher. I don't know. <laughs> But it's okay, it passed the pickup challenge. And yeah, I overall really enjoyed the puzzle. I think it's really great that it actually revealed the picture. I don't know if you could see it when I had it from the far, but you basically have, I don't know what this bird is. So you have a bird. Tikon, Tikon, I don't know. I'm just gonna stop talking now before I embarrass myself any further. So yeah, you've got the bird and you've got like the vines from the tree and yeah, I think like some fruits as well. I don't know what these are supposed to represent, 
but it's basically like a bird in the tree if I understood that correctly. So this is so much fun. I'm gonna have to see how it looks from afar because I haven't actually, I just, when you do the close up, you don't really realize what the picture is. It's only when I took the camera and I saw it. I'm not gonna say from afar because it's not really, but it just makes it smaller. And I think the details pop up a little bit more. So one thing I wanted to talk about that I already pointed out earlier. So those little, thingy i don't know is that like raisins covered in chocolate i don't know what it is but it's like they come in so many different colors and obviously on the picture you can't really i mean you can see the dark ones and the light ones but you can't really see the difference of like where something goes so that was a little bit tricky to do because i didn't i couldn't orient myself off of the picture but maybe i didn't try hard enough <laughs> i don't know and like i also mentioned before everything that had like the sour thing on or like sugar i don't know what that is but the texture that was definitely the easiest part of the puzzle it just got a bit difficult with the dark green like i couldn't really see i think they're like bears i think they're bears you can't really see the texture it's almost like a beer bottle if that makes any sense like a glassy texture so it's really difficult to see what the sweet actually is and i'm really pleased with the quality of the puzzle and with both the pickup challenge if I show you how much puzzle dust we've got, I don't know if you can see when it collects in the middle. So like we do have some, but it's not a lot because I didn't have any on my hands. It all just gets collected into my table because it's, it's an expendable table. So we've got a crack in between. So yeah, what else did I want to say? There was something else I wanted to say and I forgot now. Okay, so because this is the first time I've actually taken pictures before you know, recording the video, I decided I'm gonna show you what my favorite way of putting the puzzle away is. To avoid like losing pieces and, you know, having everything all over the place. And it's also, I think the fastest and the safest way to put the puzzle back in the box. So yeah, I just hope it works because it doesn't actually work with every brand. So we've got the box here, which we won't need just yet. And I've got the bag. So yeah, because I always put the puzzles back in the bag. So what I do is I roll the puzzle nicely and it works with most of the brands, but some brands are like really difficult to separate. So it might not work with them. And what I do next is I put the, the puzzle in the bag. So you see nothing falls out and then I start to crumble the puzzle. Sorry, that might be really loud for the camera. But I start to crumble the puzzle from the bottom. Okay, it's getting a bit full now. And a bit more difficult because of it. But that's basically the gist of it. So, there you go. And then you can just keep crumbling a little bit more, you know, to make sure that you got, you separated the majority of the pieces. So that for me is the easiest and the safest way to put the puzzle back in the bag. And I hope it helps someone. So that's going to be it for today. But if you want to see some puppy love, you can just keep watching because I'm going to show you the video I took when I was out with Kiara. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Bye.